Welcome back to Night in the Woods. We've got to get ready for the Harfest Festival. Oh yeah, normal clothes. Oh yeah, time to get spooky. Sweet. <laughs> Witch dagger. It's the first time Maze worn anything other than the one set of clothes. So strange to see them wearing something else. Although I guess that's just like a, a cape over their normal clothes, I think. No sleep. Harfest. Hold on before we go. Any new messages? Nope. Hello? Hmm. I must already be out. Halloween. I can't jump while I'm wearing this. Dang. Splash him on the left, fortune on the right. Splash him. Hold up. Colleen, how do I get into this thing? God damn it. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Welcome to Harfest's spooktacular water balloon toss. You know what to do. Or can it figure it out? Or can figure it out pretty quick. Okay, let's go. Uh, I'm supposed to hit, hit the thing up there? Or, what is the thing up at the very top? That circle at the very top, what is that? I guess I'm just supposed to hit them. Oh, I see. Extremely cold and wet. Is that Greg? Totally a hit. Rattle, rattle, I'm a skeleton. Tricky. On behalf of the Possum Springs Town Council, we urge you to support local business and enjoy our historic home. Possum Springs, more like. Kathleen, no. More like Awesome Springs. Okay, we're done. Dang, I wanted to throw water balloons at them while they were talking. It's right there in my paw. Oh, we can go to Fortune 2 now. Nice. Dare you spin the Wheel of Destiny? Explain. None can explain the power of the wheel, save that is an unknowable circular soothsayer. Save, save that it is an unknowable circular soothe there. Oh snap, is it going to say the soothe? The soothe shall be said. Okay, I'm into this. Oh, is it like... Press it at the top? Spin, spin, spin away. I got fish. 
Your fortune is your future. A place you will soon be. Forever. Okay, that checks out. Your card says much. Some days shall be like, Unto the fish you keep as a trophy. Some days shall be like, Unto the fish you eat. And some days shall be, Link unto the fish you throw back. Link? So some days are going to be good, some are going to be average, and some are going to suck. I think I saw this fortune on a greeting card once. This isn't a fortune, this is just like regular life. The cards do not lie. The wheel that chooses the card is unknowable. So this is unknowable truth? You have learned much, child. I'm 20. Well, that was interesting. May the wheel ever spin in your favor. All right, then. <laughs> oh, that's actually coming from this person here. <laughs> Just waving and singing along. That is a big pumpkin. Hey, hey. What you up to? Seriously? We're putting on this year's Harfest pageant. Oh, right, okay. Live from the old pickaxe. When's this thing supposed to start? Uh, ten minutes, I think. I think. Oh, this is a nightmare. Why did I ever agree to do this? Chamber of Commerce owes me big for this. Jeez, I hear you. What? Okay, so here's the thing. You won't have many lines. What? I've had like three no-shows. Why? Because this whole thing is stupid and nobody cares about it. B. Please? It's a fun part. B. Yeah? I will totally save your ass. I might have this memorized from when I was a kid. Probably not. They rewrote it like six times in the past two years. To be spookier. So it's like 20% actual history now. And like 80% spooks. Okay, weird. It starts off normal, but gets... Anyway. You got like five minutes to look at your lines. Pff, I can wing it. May, please don't wing it. Okay. May winged it, didn't they? I didn't see any lines. Oh, I didn't see you there. Be ye ghosts. Are ye here to hear the tale of how Possum Springs came to be? <laughs> Through the mists of time, I see weary fur trappers from 1793. Brother John. Yes, Brother Stephen. From this vantage point, I do spy a deep hollow, and within a great dead tree. And besides, with a... Uh, which, a spring. Blessed are we, Brother Stephen. For truly my throat is parched from these long and arduous travels, and carrying these... 300 beaver pelts. Yeah, that'll do it. Let us make haste, O oh excellent brother. I have to wing it. They didn't even look at the lines. Come on, May. Uh, traveler's spare crust of bread for a needy woman, or traveler's help an extremely old woman. Um. Uh. Oh, traveler's spare crust of bread for a needy woman. Haggard witch. Horrible to look upon. 
cruel young men. Ye did not even offer one of thy three hundred fine beaver pelts to warm my ancient bones. Thou art a rude and naughty boy. Thy naughtiness must be met with punishment. I art uncomfortable. Um. Thy punishment is a curse <laughs> that shall take ye and thee even this very night. Whew. <laughs> I was born among these trees neath the harvest moon and ye shall die under that moon. Brother John, I am frightened. Faith, Brother Stephen, art thou so easily shaken by the ramblings of an old crone? Come, help me carry these three hundred beaver pelts. But little did anyone know that the witch did not curse in vain. Okay, okay, that didn't go too bad. Oh, do I have more lines? Help, help! Who will help a poor traveler? Uh, um, uh, by the moon and stars above us, sir, I beseech thee, what is thy trouble? You're in this? Yep. <laughs> ah, witch! Yep. I swear thee, friend, that this very day, this horrifying crone did curse my brother and I to die. Zwoons! We camped by this very spring beneath a dead tree, and even now his body lieth upon the earth, lifeless as a pile of three hundred beaver pelts. Oh, it chilleth the heart. A curse upon rude, upon rude young men. That's not... Um... She has cursed the spring, and now I shall die. <laughs> Well, I am also undone, for I have dranketh of the water. Don't leave me here, Greg. Bye. And yet, even there, the curse's lust for blood would not be sated. Gaze upon them, gaze upon these spirits. Brother, we are now ghosts. Ah, I am tormented by the accusing glare of three hundred ghostly beavers. It would seem that all who die here are cursed to never leave. Doth that witch know what she hath done? Um, crap. For... For what is a ghost but that which haunts the empty space that was once full? And once haunted, can a place be unhaunted? You! You were doing maintenance at the bus stop when I first came back to Possum Springs. Well, I guess it was more of a bus station than a bus stop, but anyway, from the bus station. Young witch, it is I, the god of the forest. Uh, just didn't expect you to... Ain't that the way. So... Witch, thou hast tarred... Tarried... Tarried? Tarried too long in this world? I banish thee to wander in the night through the stranger places. Oh god, how did you know? Young witch, let me speak wisdom to you. We begin and we end at night in the woods. But that is not the whole of the story. This is your line. How do you know so much about me? 
Young witch, I know more than thee could ever know, for I am as old as these trees. Well, beware as you go, for there are ghosts. Ooh. Take care. I like that they were still wearing their utility belt like they never go anywhere without it, even to a play. <laughs> and so was founded then this festival. On a Halloween we shall celebrate the dying of the year and the founding of Possum Springs. I, Mayor Ghost, decree it. The beaver population suffered a decline and now our biggest exports are corn and pumpkins. We used to be the county seat. Now leave before I curse you all. Oh no, audience. And that's our show. Be careful as you leave here, for who knows what may lurk in the darkness. Also be sure to pick up a flyer on your way out from the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Support your spooky local businesses. <laughs> Jeez, thanks guys. I am never doing that again. So what are we doing now? Well, I'm going home. Angus is making dinner and we're gonna watch horror movies. Can I come? It's more a date thing. Oh. What are you doing, B? Chamber of Commerce folks are going to the buffet out by Ham Panther. Kinda have to go, business stuff. I hate this. But you're good at it. Both of those things can be true. Can I come? Nope. Okay. Well. Good night. Night. This is garbage. Oh my god. Hey, anyone? Shit. I knew something spooky, something actual, actually spooky would happen. Where the hell did he go? Shit. There's a guy up there on the hill. He stole some kid? He looked like a ghost. A ghost, huh? Or something like that. May, you shouldn't be out here. Doing whatever it is you're doing. No, no one should be out here. But there's this guy. I'll drive you home, May. No. May, now. Where am I? What what is this? Was that our dream? For the night? Part 3, The Long Fall.
That was the figure that took the person. The one on the left, anyway. I don't know. I don't know what the one on the right is. So in the dream, it looked like there was some horrible noise coming from. I think it was a well. Hard to tell though, because everything was only backlit. Hey, dude. Sorry, couldn't hang last night. Angus says he's sorry too. Band practice today. Because I'm in charge and I say so. Off to work, bye. Hey May, thanks so much for your help last night. Woke up and realized that I completely imposed in a big way. Thank you, I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. Bright Harbor Post. Is Autumn secretly killing you? Yes, yes it is. Let's practice some bass. Hmm. We're all looking a bit older, I guess. Weird to take, like, one moment and make it, like, the official version of us. I wonder if the new working clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary. Big old thing upstairs. Like you, but different. Huge and spooky. Making weird noises at night. Ah, I can't find this thing spooky. It's a piece of granddad. We need more of those. You're just, like, the same every day? What is your bird existence like? Do we have any detective books out here? Oh, of course, of course we do. Do we have any books about ghosts? Like real life ghosts? Do we have any books for nut jobs? I guess? No, this is good. Research is good. Confront the problem head on. You're not losing it, dude. You are in fact keeping it. Very close. Hey, hon. Yeah? Come say hello, why don't you? Remember our last conversation? A little bit awkward. Mm -hmm. So you gonna apologize? Hey, hon. Hey, mom. You look really tired. So do you. Also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Gray and drizzly. I could go for that today. Hey, hun. Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. Me too. I said some stuff. I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want a repeat of a few years ago. I'm really sorry, Mom. About all of it. Hey, May. You okay? I'm fine. I guess I'm stressed too. Saw some weird stuff last night. Or I think I did. Wanna talk about it? Uh, later. I'm still like putting it together. Can we talk about school? Also later. It is gray and drizzly. How's it going, Selmers? How was your Halloween? Weird. Went to Harfest. Saw some messed up shit that I think was real. Then had a really bad nightmare. Cool, I stayed in a night candy and watched TV. Halloween episodes were on. Well, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? Whoa. Yep. Wanna hear a new poem? Autumn wins. Autumn sins. Okay. Autumn times. Autumn crimes. What's considered an autumn crime? Robbing a gas station and blowing it up. In November. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Hey, Mr. Chazikov. Yes, Selma? You're gonna break your neck someday. 
I will make sure to fall right on you. <laughs> well, I'm a big enough target. I'm bigger than you. We should be covered. You too. Leaves, leaves, leaves. Is that a bone? Nope. So we got some more dusk stars to look at. The missus varnished this porch herself. Don't go tracking mud all over it. Oh yeah, I did it. Smell the autumn winds. Yeah, hard to miss it. One should not miss such a thing. Talking of, want to see some stars? Yes. Again. <laughs> Just never remember. This is your own fault at this point, I would say. Indeed. Big snake. Big snake. Yep. I saw a big snake once. At the zoo. In scouts we were hiking and one was sunning itself on a rock. What a treat. I was thinking it's rare to see a snake just randomly relaxing. What's up with this one? A big snake emerged from the earth and made war upon the villages. What villages? You know, villages. Okay. And as he wrapped himself around them, the villagers saw that they were encircled by the same big snake. And they came together, and together slew the big snake. You learn. Why did big snake attack the people? Do you have sympathy for the big snake? Jeez, I don't know, but can we just keep saying big snake? Big snake. Big snake. Big. Snake. It's not all that much room left in this guy. Can't be too many more constellations. Oh, you like this one. Really? Because they're dead? Okay, yeah, I'm into it. Gramercy the medium. In life he spoke with the dead? Really? Who knows. But when he died, his own spirit returned and spoke through him. Wait, that's dumb. How so? That's just called being alive. Not so, his body was dead. So he's like a zombie? But just as smart as before. No looking for brains. So, like normal, but he smelled bad. Just so. Why did they make this guy into a star? I have no idea. <laughs> I guess it's kind of impressive. Dumb, but impressive. So what's the moral of this one? Moral? Yeah, usually star things like this have some sort of moral. Sometimes things are just strange. That's the moral. Well, gee willikers, Mr. Chazikov. All for today. Big Snake and Gramercy. I don't feel right about it. I know, but sometimes the right thing doesn't feel right. Just think, it's just wrong to take something when folks don't want you to take it. Well, I feel like God would see this differently. I do at least. Hmm. That's because you're a good person. It sounds like the town council voted or whatever to not allow them to live in the church. But this person whose name I forgot, sorry. Uh, wants to just let them in anyway. Hey, hey. Hey again. Hey. 
So I had this really bad dream last night. Me too. I dreamed I was a pizza, and I was afraid someone would slice me. Jeez. Yep. This just makes me sad we don't have a pizza place anymore. Got an order from out by the highway now. Tragic. I had a dream I was a goose flying south, and I had to keep up with the other gooses, or I'd get lost. That's sad. Twart a good dream. What are y'all talking about? Big meeting coming up. City council. Yep. About... About Bruce here. Wow, that's intense. We'd appreciate your prayers. This is precisely the kind of time where God shows up. Hope so. Me too. Hey, hey, church mom. Hey, heathen daughter. Well, I'll make it in here someday. But come on, seriously, no one likes getting up on Sunday. I find it very enriching. Your father does too, mostly. But he attends and that's important. And he knows it means a lot to me. All right, well, guilt thoroughly tripped. You do work for the church. That's not what faith, what faith is like, hun. Huh? It's more grace than condemnation. Kind of. Yeah, whatever. All right, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. Oh, hey, this person's up here again. Did you go to Harfest? Yeah, uh, ended up in a play because my friend B screwed it up. Cool. I ate pizza and watched Blood Gorgon. Cool. Is something wrong? Nah, just... I think I saw a ghost or something last night. Ugh, I'm not sure. That sounds kind of awesome. It was like the opposite of awesome. Oh, sorry. That's cool. I'll see you later. Good luck with your ghost problem. Thanks. You see someone messed up the mural in the tunnel? Yeah, <laughs> pretty funny. I mean, very weird and, and bad. Any idea who did it? Nope. Lots of suspects, though. Yeah, whole town full of suspects. I think we need to say hi to a certain someone. But first... Plastic flowers are, like, super depressing, for some reason. Dead flowers are less depressing than plastic ones. Still don't have any food to give him, huh? Sorry. Well, it's nice to see you again, Millard. So, today's my last day. Oh dear, we're gonna miss you. It happened so fast. Let us know how it is. I will. I'll come visit. Can't leave you two to fend for yourselves. Oh dear, what are we gonna do without you? Y'all wanna go see a movie or something? Yeah, let me get settled in and we can go on an outing. And you'll see me whenever you go for groceries. That's true. I ain't going far. Not far at all. Alright, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we'll speak with B 